this is Severe MMA. Here we are at Team Kaban in Wigan, and we're alongside Mike Grundy. And usually I'm interviewing guys for, you know, Cage Warriors or Bama, and it's not often I get to interview somebody going out to compete at Shuto in Japan. So first, uh, the first question I have to ask Mike before we even talk about opponents, how did that come about? Uh, how did the, the, the little lad from Wigan, and I don't mean that in yeah. any disrespectful way, but, you know, this is a big promotion, a promotion with a lot of MMA history, a promotion with a great reputation, and you're competing against one of their former champions. How did it come around? It came around because um, my coach has got a lot of good contacts. Um, I know um, Brigadier from Brazil, he had some something to do with it as well. He has, he's had lads from Brazil go and fight in Shuto. Obviously, Shuto's like a, a big franchise. It's in Brazil and um, obviously in Japan. So that's how it came around, really, and they must have needed a fighter at featherweight. I'm always ready, obviously. I'm always training, so I'm ready to go, and I'm excited, you know, to go to Japan and compete. The opponent, Yukata Saido, I think, 12-2. Uh, and two. So this is a guy who has, you know, not just somebody they've pulled off the street. This is a guy with some pedigree, competed over there quite a lot. What do you know about him? Well, obviously, he was the champion. He says current champion, so I don't know if he's still the champion or he was the champion. Um, like you say, he's got a lot of experience. He's 12-2. and two. Um, He's come off a lot of decisions. He's had a lot of decisions, so, you know, he's got a, he's got a gas tank. He can, he can grind out a fight. He seems to be a bit of a grappler, but he's got he's got some decent stand up as well, some good counter punches. But you know we're ready for everything. We're prepared for everything. There's no rock unturned. We've absolutely trained 100% for this fight, and you know we've we've got some very good partners in in the gym. So you know I'm excited for this fight. I'm, training's been that hard, and I'm just ready to fight now, 100%. With a lot, you know, with guys who are travelling maybe for the first time or second time to a big promotion to fight. I would ask if nerves or pressure, but this is nothing new for you, is it? You know, this 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 travel, this competing in in sort of hostile territory, as it were, away from home. Uh, how important is the, the the wrestling background that you got in terms of the Commonwealth Games and and the number of times you've competed in preparing you for this? Well, obviously, you know, I've travelled to all over the world really with wrestling. Uh, for somebody who's probably just uh, just done it there and going out to Japan now for the first ever time, it'd be quite daunting, I'd say. Um, but you know, I've competed, like I said, I've competed all over the world and the Commonwealth Games in India and I drew India first round and, you know, there was five to ten thousand fans there shouting for India against me. So I'm experienced in that and, I'm, and, I'll, and I'll, 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 I'll take that on board and I don't mind and I'll accept the change and I'll 100% I'll be out going out there confident. I know maybe not something that as a fighter you have to think about, but Shudo being attached to the UFC Fight Pass obviously has a huge, huge following, huge numbers watching. The sport in Japan is obviously huge, so you'll get huge numbers there. It could, is this arguably the, the most people that have, have, have ever been able to see Mike Grundy compete in MMA? Yeah, in MMA, definitely. It is, um, obviously, there's over half a million subscribers to UFC Fight Pass, so... There's going to be a lot of people watching, you know, and there's more certainly going to be a lot of people watching from Wigan. I know I've got a big following right now. Um, and it's probably going to be a little bit of a profile change for me um, in the UK scene, uh, in the world scene, really. You know, and I'm happy to, I'm happy to take it on board and I'm looking forward to it. Is, 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 is that the end? I mean, you go in to win, I know you go to compete. You, you've never been the, an athlete to talk shit about anybody or to talk crap. But, you know, simply put, is, is going there, is this, for, is this a chance for you to show the world, hey, you know, you guys talk about, in the UK, we talk about our Brandon Lawkins and our Paddy Pimblets, and we talk about, you know, those guys. Mike Grundy's name's usually not attached to that list. Is it time it was? I'd say so, definitely. You know, um, I'm 8 and 1 right now. Um, I'll be 9 and 1 in the next few weeks. And, you know, I'm, I'm a professional, I've been a professional athlete since I was, you know, 16, 17 years old. And I'm taking that into my mixed martial arts now. I want to be in the UFC. I'll be in the UFC this year 100%. And... You know, it should definitely be up there with, with the top guys in the UK. I've, I've always said it, and we've spoken about it off camera. I say it's like the quiet man that gets left at sea in the storm. You've always been the quiet man in UK MMA again. You've never, you've never said anything bad about another opponent. You've always been sort of humble, um, respectful. Is that... Where does that? What we talked about the fact there's kind of two camps: the ones that guys that talk, and the guys that just let their their kind of their work do the talking for them. Is that from your background as a because you've been a professional athlete almost yeah. your whole life? I mean, the reason I don't really talk um, crap about other people really is because I've been brought up in an Olympic sport, uh, an amateur sport, and it's not really you're not really brought up like that. You've got to be respectful. You've got to be a role model to the kids. And obviously I coach at uh, gyms with 60, 70 kids, co I'm coaching a week. And those kids look up to me. 
and I'm quite well respected in Wigan and there's a lot of kids that look up to me in Wigan. You know, I'll go into schools and I'll talk to kids in schools about my experience in the Commonwealth Games and my experience in wrestling and things like that. So it's just not my style and it's just not the way I've been, uh, been brought up through my sport. Wrestling's a very uh, disciplined and respectful sport and like I say, it's just not my personality. So I wouldn't like to be fake. Um, so I wouldn't like to be something on camera that I'm not really. Uh, I'm confident, but there's different ways of showing confidence. I, I, I'm going to put you on. I'm going to put you on the spot, and I'm scared to do. I'm in your gym, but are there, is there any any featherweights in the UK that you shouldn't be in the cage with? Is there anybody that's uh, just beyond, or are uh, you up uh, there with them all? I'm up there with them all. Anyone in the UK, I don't mind. Do you know I mean who I fight? Like I say, whoever my coach puts in front of me, or whoever they decide to put against me in any show, then I'm ready. In the world, not in, not just in the yeah, UK. Yeah, I absolutely. don't mind. You know that's why I'm going to Japan to fight. Yeah. I don't I don't mind who I fight in the world. How many this year, and ideally, when's that UFC debut that you said is coming this year going to happen? Are we looking sort of middle of the year, towards the end? Obviously, nothing's nothing set, set in stone or nothing's been, been coming along just yet, but I would like to, uh, you know, I would love to be in the UFC London. You know, obviously, I've got this big fight coming up now in Shuto, and I'll get recognised from that. I'll put, you know, I'll, I'll second set that now. I'll put on a performance, and I'll win. And, you know, London is only six weeks after that fight, so... Who's to say there's not going to be a pull out or who's to say they're not looking at me now, so I'm ready. Mike, thank you ever so much for your time and letting us come. First time to, you, to the gym that yeah. I, I insultingly, I think I said you were from ASW a few years ago, which was just did, the worst yeah. mistake I've ever made. So my apologies for that. A wonderful facility. One more question and I'll let you go. If the, the win happens the way you want, but the UFC doesn't come through, Shooto for a title? Do you think that, you know, again, that's been a, a root in the tough for, you know, their flyweight champion, and he made a heck, heck of a yeah. run. Is Shooto a promotion? I suppose you won't know until you've been there, but is, you figure you might want to go back out if it if all goes well? I mean, if, if I've not got a contract with Shooto. It's just a one fight, you know, and if Shooto ever offered me to go back out there, and I would definitely go. I'd love to go. I mean, I've always wanted to go to Japan anyway. Yeah. Um, and see what it's like, but to go and fight in Japan because of the, the history of it is, is fantastic. But, but yeah, if they offer me to go back out, no, no worries, I'll go back out. Fuck it, one more question because I'm gonna, I'm sorry, <laughs> I said it was gonna, I'm gonna ask one more. Tough, if tough was offered to you as a route into the USC, because we've, we've, we've spoken to some guys who have been there, who, who have done it, some have been very positive about it, some have been very negative about it. Some fighters say it's the cheap way in, some fighters say it's a, well in, uh, a way in well earned. Yeah. If Tough were to come looking and knocking on the door, is that, a, is that a route to the UFC that you would consider? Whatever, whatever, um, you know, whatever comes first, really. If, if that was an option me and my coach discussed and it, it could come along, then I would take it, yeah. To get into the UFC, I kind of, you know, not, not do anything, but like I said, I'd like to obviously be offered into the FC, not to you know be desperate to get into the yeah. FC. I'd like them to come to me and say, right, you know, your, your wrestling's really good and you're a really good fighter. I'd like you to come to the FC and fight for us, and that's that's what I would want. Mike, it's always a pleasure catching up with you. The date of the event? The date of the event on Shoe Toys 29, which is obviously live on UFC Fight Pass. UFC Fight Pass against Yakata Saito. That's right. Good luck. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And again, the quiet man in, in the lighter weight divisions in, in the UK. I can't wait for you to make some noise in Japan. Yeah, I'm excited. Mike. Thank you so much.